GitHub Copilot is amazing at building apps fast, but if you're not careful, it will also create a mess just as fast. Now, in this video, we will build a real mortgage app and I will show you how to clean it up properly. So I have this simple and standard Blazor web app here called Mortgage Calculator. And now let's just prompt Copilot directly to build this little house loan calculator, mortgage calculator, you name it. So let's say, please, I know, I don't know why I say please, but I just do it every time. Create a simple, and by the way, I know you sometimes do it too. So that's nice. Uh, a page for a mortgage almost mortgage calculator with the following details. This is important now, right? We want to tell Copilot some details. It would guess what you want to enter maybe, but let's just say we have some inputs for that calculator. So let's just say inputs here. Real quick, if you want to go really deep into using AI and Copilot for real .NET web development, I just released a new masterclass. The link as always in the video description below and make sure to use the code YouTube for a sweet discount. And then there should be the house price. Then we have the down payment, then yearly interest rates in percent, then yearly principal, principal repayment also in percent, then the uh, loan duration in years, and the start month and year. All right. And then these are the inputs for the form, but then we also want uh, to tell some behavior, tell Copilot the behavior of the application and also, well, what the result should look like, right? What do we want to see there? A table, a graph, whatever you want to do. So first the behavior, and that would be a button that says calculate. We want to calculate the monthly mortgage payment and generate a month by month amortization schedule. And then the last thing what do you want to see. So please show me then the monthly payment. And I in this case want to see a table with the following columns. And that would be the month, then the payment, the interest, principal, and the remaining balance. Let's run this. And please note, I did not tell Copilot anything about architecture, best practices, and so on. So let's just see what happens in the end and what it is actually creating. All right, and the result is already pretty interesting because it just created this mortgage eraser file. It was confused a little in the beginning because here it says it can already see a mortgage eraser file. This is because I tested this before and it was just, uh, well, excited to see the result, let's just say. And uh, then I just uh, undid everything. So yeah, sometimes the file, it seems the file is still there, but it isn't really so copilot thought it is there but couldn't find it so it uh, it created it again and then created well all the logic and this is what you can see here we have the random mode interactive server page is called mortgage mortgage calculator here's our big form and then all the logic is in here right inside the eraser file and this already is maybe something you don't want to see here but let's just run this and see if it actually works. All right, there we are. We have our mortgage calculator and we have some default values. Let's just use them. So 300,000 for the house, down payment 60, 3.5 for the interest, 1.0 for principal and the loan duration. And it's currently December, 2025. So why not? Let's calculate that. And we see this would be the monthly payments 
the loan amount, total payments, total interest. This is actually pretty nice already. And here's the table that we wanted. And we can definitely see interest is going down, principal is going up, and the remaining balance, of course, also going down. And everything is paid. Then in the year, on the, the month, November 2050. Five. All right. Now, I don't know if 300,000 for a house is a realistic price. You tell me. But in essence, you see this works. But, and this is not a big but and the pain, all the logic is here. So how do we change that? Well, let's try a prompt to refactor everything. So here now, we say, please refactor. I know, again, please, this code. And we give it now some rules. So let's say, do not change app behavior. This is important. We actually want exactly the same result because the result is great, but the code is not the best. And then we can say, move all business logic into services and also use interfaces. Then use dependency injection, which is, you could say the same as the rule before with using interfaces, right? Then let's say keep razor files focused on UI only. Let's say make the code readable, maintainable, and testable. And I like to also add XML summary comments. And now let's say, uh, let's see what changes. So here GitHub Copilot already tells me I refactor this code to follow best practices by separating business logic from the UI using dependency injection and adding proper documentation. Let me create a plan for this. I like this stuff here. It's pretty new in my opinion. And now we can already see that it is starting with a new model and also here the iMortgage calculator service. So it uses the interface now and I think it will also implement then the implementation class of course for the service and so on. All right, so now it is telling us it created these files, amortization entry, the interface for the mortgage calculator service and also the mortgage calculator service and in the program CS registered the service. Let's see that. Yep, there it is. Perfect. This is how I would do it. And also the mortgage razor now should be way smaller because as you can see here, the uh, big logic is now in our service, which should be, yep, injected here. This is great. And here now, our model, month payment, interest, principal, and the remaining balance. And then we also have the interface here. We have our XML summary comments, which I love because when I hover over this stuff, now I see what it's actually doing. I like that. And here now the implementations. This is great. Now let's run this one more time and see if it actually still works. All right, there it is. Same values. We calculate this thing. And also again, result is exactly the same. Great. So this really works now. I love that. But there is an even better way to do this. You don't have to refactor everything every single time. There's actually a pretty easy way to tell Copilot how to structure the code beforehand. And if you want to know how to do that, just check out this video here on the screen next.